Here they come in the third heat of the 1970 Hamiltonian here at DuPont. They're off and trotting. Victory Star is out past from the outside. Formal notice down along the inside with Timothy T. Victory Star races to the front around the first turn. Formal notice is second. Timothy T, third on the outside, and Gallant Prince is fourth. Fairbanks Hanover is fifth. Luther Hanover, sixth. Speedy Spin is seventh on the outside. Flower Child is eighth, and the consort is ninth. Into the quarter mile mark they go with Timothy T, up in front now by a length and a quarter. Formal notice is out of third and driving. Quarter at 29 and 3 fifth seconds. They go to the back stretch. Formal notice races four and gets the lead. Timothy T is now second by a length. Victory Star is third. Gallant Prince is fourth. Four lengths back in fifth is Fairbanks Hanover. Luther Hanover is sixth. Speedy Spin is seventh. The Consort is eighth. Flower Child is ninth. That's formal notice with the lead by a length and three quarters. Timothy T is second a length and a half. Victory Star is third a length. Gallant Prince is fourth as the field moves to the half mile mark. Formal notice reaching the half in one minute and one fifth of a second. It is formal notice leading a length and a half. Timothy T right there in second. Victory Star is third. Fairbanks Hanover ranging up now on the outside. Gallant Prince is fourth at the rail. Fairbanks Hanover fifth. Speedy Spin is sixth moving up. Luther Hanover is seventh. The consort is eighth and Flower Child is ninth. Formal notice leads, but Timothy T is out and driving at him as they come to the three quarters. Formal notice on the inside, Timothy T on the outside. They're at the three quarter mile mark in 131 and two. Turning for home, Timothy T on the outside, formal notice on the inside. Gallant Prince is third, Fairbanks Hanover, Victory Star coming on, and Luther Hanover on the outside. That's Timothy T with the lead, down to the stretch, formal notice is second. It's Timothy T and formal notice as they drive to the wire in the final eighth of the mile. Timothy T and formal notice, and it's Timothy T winning the Hamiltonian. Formal notice is second, and the third heat mile in two minutes and three fifths. And Johnny Simpson Jr. becomes the youngest man ever to win the Hamiltonian. For caretaker Charlie Coleman, it's number two. He also having had heirs six years ago. Illinois Governor Richard B. Ogilvy proudly presides over Victory Lane ceremonies, but none is more proud this day than John Simpson Sr., who produced the horse, and Hamiltonian President Bill Hayes, who produced the show. Add Mrs. Simpson Jr. to that list, too. For young Johnny Simpson Jr., admittedly the thrill of his young lifetime. We asked Johnny how it felt to be the youngest driver ever to win the Hamiltonian, and what were the pressures? Well, it was great to win, and it was great to get over. Uh, uh, of course, uh, I don't think, I don't know about the pressure. There wasn't that much pressure. Johnny, is it correct that you and your dad aimed Timothy T. just for the Hamiltonian? Uh, in one sense of the word, my father aimed Timmy for the Hamiltonian. Uh, I don't know what I, I couldn't say what I would have done if he was my horse. I don't know if I could have uh, waited and skipped those races like he did, but he had it in his mind from the time the colt was a two-year-old that he was going to have him ready Hamiltonian Day regardless of uh, those other races, and he just had the patience, and uh, if the horse hadn't been in just super condition, I don't think he would have won. Bred by Don Millar's Bonnie Keek Farm, Timothy T. will go on from here to win both the Colonial at Liberty Bell Raceway in the Kentucky Futurity in Lexington. The classic Hamiltonian and its winning trotter, once again casting long shadows ahead. 